I'm Margaret Greaves. I'm captain of the Mansfield Marnics, but today in Crofts for Flyball, we have got the Marnics. It's actually captained by Nick Greaves, and we've been coming here two or three years now. In two and a half hours, we will be competing in the main arena. Uh, before that, we're just relaxing, getting everybody's hair done, relaxing the dogs, painting the dogs up, have a bit of fun, because the Marnics do like to go and have fun. Uh, it's a fun sport, we love it, we've been doing fly ball now for quite a few years and we're from all different parts of the country and we all come together for fly ball. Fly ball is a four dog relay team, you've got four dogs in a team, you line up, the first dog goes down over four jumps, gets a tennis ball out of a machine, comes back over the four jumps and you have what they call start gates and the second dog goes, but they have to cross within the start gates or just before. And basically, it's the first team that finish. Uh, in there, we've got a non-collie dog, as all the teams have, and we're hoping to qualify for tomorrow for the semi-finals and the finals. <laughs> the dogs are excited, and obviously, you know, the pressure starts to build up in the that's when the nerves start kicking in, but as soon as you walk through them black doors, the nerves just go. When we're waiting in the holding area, the dogs are eager to get in, so we have to calm them down, stroke them, basically kneel down with them to stop them barking, screaming, because they're just as eager as we are to get in. And the dogs are trained for it, they absolutely love it as we go. Nick's made all the plans anyhow, so everybody knows where they're going from, what they're doing, when they're going to release the dogs, the box loader, he knows exactly what he's doing. We all know our jobs when we get in there. Mansfield in Lincolnshire against the supersonic Saltars on the near, the Saltars from West Lothian, members from Kilmarnock and Glasgow. Took the fly ball title in 2012, did uh, the Saltars. Here we are then, we are all set for the second quarter final. It is the supersonic Saltars on the near side from West Lothian, members from Kilmarnock and Glasgow. Good pedigree here, they won a couple of years ago. And several of these have competed here with these dogs before as well as the team name coming up here go the start line against the marnix on the far side this is a flying start from both dogs precious little and it looks like the marnix just about have it now a very slow changeover you'll see there from the salt tires and there's a, a right on the near side they've dropped a ball as well the salt tires are there having a few problems and it looks like the marnix on the far are going to claim this first race here are the Marnix one to the good if they win here. They have a place in the semi-finals in the main arena tomorrow afternoon. Our judge Howard Campbell pouring them to order. Can the Saltires pull this one back? Away we go. It's the Marnix on the far side with the advantage and a good advantage too. They're dominating this at the moment. Good clean pick up and turn, but it's been and there's a light on the near side I'm here. Second well. dog, second crossover. That's what it came up for, bad crossover. Looking good then for the Marnix from Mansfield in Lincolnshire on that far side. But again, as always, we just see things with the naked eye and there's confirmation from Howard Campbell and that means that they have a place in the semi. Get All the dogs raced, absolutely superb. Couldn't be more pleased. Perfection. Perfection in itself. These guys, absolutely, I'm over the moon. Thanks for all in it, it's exhilarating to know that your dog's coming back. 
your last bounce coming back before there, and that, that, that leg possibly puts you into the semi-finals, and then, you know, and then obviously when it does happen, when you win that final leg, you know, there's no feeling like it. There's no feeling like it in the world. <laughs> As you can see, I'm really bit excited. Oh, about the hotel, relax, enjoy the fact that we're through and then concentrate on getting ready to do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>